Hello and welcome back to my channel. As you can probably hear, I'm a bit sick, but uh, these news are too big to pass. Um, the new version of MPLAB X IDE, version 5, which is out about uh, 5 days, I just noticed this, uh, provides support, beta support at least, to AVR uh, microcontrollers. This is a very big thing. Um, the the uh, final union of the um, greatest rivals and all that. So, um, I have here a little setup that I made. Um, here's the uh, a board that I designed. It's not perfect, uh, it's not available anywhere, but I designed this for the brand new AVR um, 18 Mega 4809, this one. And it's powered by uh, USB. Sorry. Currently doesn't do anything. And I also have here the uh, Atmel Ice um, programmer debugger. So I'll connect to the board here with using the uh, UPDI, I think it's called, Universal Programming Debugging Interface, this one. So uh, this is ready. Uh, now, what I'm going to do, uh, I'll show you how to build a, a, a AVR project in MPLAB X IDE. Uh, this is, uh, I, j I just learned this from uh, from Microchip's tutorial. I'm not uh, in inside expert expert or anything. So let's go. Uh, in File New Project, you choose a microchip embedded standalone project. Then, in Family, you choose the 8-bit uh, AVR MCUs. As you can see, this is an initial support state provided as beta, etc. Um, there are lots of models here. I'm not sure all of the AVRs are here, but uh, many are, including the new, uh, for example, the 80 Tiny 1617, which is great and uh, Use the uh, <coughs> sorry four eight zero nine. Next, hardware tools Atmel Ice, uh, identified by MPLAB XID. This is uh, these are exciting times. Next, uh, now the compiler AVR doesn't do anything. Um, I upload, I downloaded and ins installed the ID as is. Uh, didn't do anything special, any configurations or anything. So uh, this is out of the box almost. Um, I choose the XC8 version 2, the new version. Um, apparently, this works. Next, uh, let's call this um, Testy Test, which is an excellent name for any project whatsoever. Finish now. Uh, it doesn't have anything yet in it. In source files, right click, right click, uh, new. Um, AVR main C, I guess. Uh, I don't know exactly what are the differences. Let's call this main. As you can see, this is a C file. I'm not sure if uh, if there is a support for C++, which is kind of important, but I don't know anything about that yet. Let's just do it in C for the moment and finish. Now this generates an AVR uh, template file. Excellent. Now, um, just for the fun of it, let's uh, build this project. Build successful, excellent, and let's uh, upload that that into the microcontroller. Let me just um, record that. It says programming complete. I didn't even see the Atmel Ice blinking, but uh, maybe I missed it. Um, never mind. Anyway, uh, let's do a proper um, brute force blinky f uh, thingy. For that, uh, you have to remember that the uh, Actually, I'll show you the. Uh, um, it tells you here that the configuration memory will not be programmed because no configuration bits settings have been defined in your codes. Uh, configuration bits is a terminology of PIC microcontrollers. In the uh, AVRs, it's called fuses. So uh, we'll go to Window, Targets, Memory Views, Configuration Bits. And these are the fuses for the for the um, AT Mega forty eight zero nine. I can upload the settings from the microchip, from the microcontroller to here. Here are the, and they are in black. This means they are uh, um, updated to the actual chip. I can choose whatever I want. I can choose the internal oscillator, for example, to be 16 megahertz instead of 20. But um, and I can uh, download the new settings back into the microcontroller, program them. It doesn't really matter, but this is how you do this kind of important in AVRs. Now let's do the program now. Um, it will run on the internal oscillator 
as a default uh, which is 20 megahertz however it does go through a, um, a 1 to 6 uh, prescaler as a default so the actual um, actual uh, uh, system clock is a 3.333 um, uh, megahertz so we'll have to take that into account uh, first of all let's um, the uh, there's an LED pin sorry an LED on the board which is connected to pin um, PC6 which is port C uh, bit 6 of this uh, chip so I want to make that in, uh, an output so um, I'll do um, port C underscore autocomplete uh, with the control and space I open this uh, menu and uh, choose that dear set setting the direction in this uh, using this um, uh, register to 0x what is hexadecimal 46 uh, 6 bit bit 6 now we have to remember if you're working with picks uh, in pick uh, a1 is an, in an input pin and the 0 is an output pin however in AVR let's write that uh, input is 0 output is 1 not O's one is one you have to remember that if you're switching between architectures so I set this uh, uh, direction for pin for bit 6 to be uh, 1 to be an output now within the loop I'll do a uh, very very crude um, blinky for unsigned int 32t um, x equals 40,000 uh, that's based on the previous attempts that I made it's not uh, magic or anything it is a magic number. You don't want to do that in proper programming, but for now it will do. X, well, X actually, minus minus X, do nothing. This will not be optimized away because this is a free version of the XC8, I suspect. Now, um, let's toggle a bit. Port C, um, control space, uh, out toggle. Toggling the output again equals uh, this hexadecimal 40, which is bit 6. Now um, I'll upload that into the chip and let's see what we get. There you have it, it's blinking. So, uh, as you can see, uh, programming for AVRs on the MPLAB X IDE is unbelievably painless, at least for this uh, kind of simple programs. I'm very happy with this. This is again almost out of the box, no special configurations or anything. This is a a new age for the um for the time old uh, competitors or whatever you want to call it, but this uh, one reason that this is extremely exciting is that um MPLAB XIDE has a version for Linux. So if you were uh, working with Linux and many developers are uh, at least uh, made a lot of noise about this that they don't have support for AVRs on, the, on Linux and anything on everything like that and, and there you have it the MPLAB XID works on Linux and it should work with the AVR too I didn't try this I hope they have a driver for the Atmel ICE or, uh, they also said that um, this is supported uh, it supports programming the AVRs with uh, with the Picket 4 programmer which is a uh, again a very uh, earth-shaking development and um, I couldn't find any information on how to connect them to, to this programming so I'm not sure if it works or if it's uh, still uh, uh, in, in, uh, in, in progress uh, work in progress but if you do know anything I'm happy to know and um, that's it for now thank you for watching I'll see you next time